Hello everybody and welcome to a seed showcase. I haven't done these for a while and I just randomly came across this uh, particular seed. The uh, seed's in the description, but let's see. There's a seed for you right there if you want to take a look at it. Um, yeah, now this works. This is pretty much the same in both Bedrock and Java Edition. Uh, the layout is pretty much the same. So some slight differences, but all of the main features are are pretty much the same. There, there's a few, you know, few minor variations on uh, world generation, but uh, most all of the uh, features on this are the same between Bedrock and Java Edition. Now, the interesting thing about, now this is where you spawn right here. So, uh, eight, a minus seven basically so zero zero pretty much you know just off a little bit but uh, take a look at this this is really interesting okay so you have a village right there you have a village right over there and then uh, let's see there's one there's one I think there's another one around here somewhere thought I saw see there's that village and that village i thought there was another one but i may have been mistaken i thought there was another one over in this direction yeah there it is right there yeah so you got these you got three villages within spitting distance of each other now i haven't looked at these villages i don't know what they what they have but uh i think this one is fairly big for a village yeah this one's a pretty good sized village it's got two churches in it um, I don't see a blacksmith but definitely got two churches in it so you know what you can get your food uh, now if you continue on in this direction there's uh, a ruined portal then you have an ocean if you keep going on in this direction here you're going to run into a uh, a uh, uh, jungle which is really nice but I want to show you this let's head over in this direction now I've got I've got the two areas that I thought we'd look at I've got them written down here I'll put them in the description as far as the uh, oh there's oh there it is right there yeah you've got the jungle over here too I didn't realize that was it was that close got a nice bamboo forest got a dark oak forest now right over here somewhere let me see if I can find it it's it's minus 285.15 uh, yeah it's right here actually oh that's really close I didn't I didn't realize it was that close to spawn check this out this is crazy uh, you've got a geode right there uh, lush forest or a lush uh, a jungle with a lush cavern under here and uh yeah look at this thing this thing's wild It'll be really hard to navigate you're gonna need just some uh scaffolding to get around here for sure you know scaffolding is a gravity block right so you could drop it down build yourself away in and out and since you can collapse it uh when you get down there scaffolding is really a sort of must have to uh explore these caverns um effectively yeah, look at look at this. It's really pretty. Really diff going to be really difficult to explore though. Again, but I mean you've got the bamboo forest right here. So yeah, you uh, and there's a a dark oak jungle around here somewhere. I thought. Uh, yeah, right here, a little bit of one at least, and then you got the birch forest there. The other interesting feature on this was, uh, now which direction is it? Okay, it is 427. It's relatively close to spawn too. Uh, 427 minus 572. Let's get back to spawn here.
and you see spot you spawn right here this is where i spawned at least so yeah right in that location right there so uh okay so let's see 427 yeah i think it's over in this direction 427 minus 572 so yeah i think it's right over in this direction here and like I said, the main features on this are the same in Bedrock or Java. Yeah, yeah, there it is right there. Uh, so you've got a jungle. Jungles are kind of hard to find sometimes. So you've got a jungle. Now this, by the way, is a, is a big meadows here. Uh, but you've also got a frozen ocean. Now, frozen oceans, in my opinion, are one of the most useful things that you can have in your world because of the fact that the ice is very useful. Just get you a silk touch pick and you're golden, you know. So, yeah, this is a nice, uh, nice frozen ocean right here. And I mean, that's within spitting distance of uh, of spawn as well. Oh, look, and there's another village. I didn't even see this. Got another village over here. I didn't even notice that before. So that makes what four villages right around the spawn area. Yeah, interesting. I you know I I don't know what else is here, but this just seems to be quite a variety of biomes and structures and all kinds of stuff. Uh, I came across at least two ruined portals. Uh, there might have been an extra one thrown in there somewhere. Uh, as I said, if you go in the other direction uh, towards that village, opposite direction we're heading now, or in the direction we're heading now, but just keep going, you'll run into another jungle, which I'm assuming must be the other, must be that uh, part of, must be the same jungle. It just wraps around. There's also a ocean over in that direction as well. I'm not going to go out there because uh, because there's also this uh, jungle really really close here, and I wanted to show you that really huge cavern that was there. But yeah, right here spawn. So I mean, gosh, you got the jungle, you got the frozen ocean, you got three villages really close to each other here, and then a fourth one over in there. And who knows how many other villages are tucked away on this one. I'm not sure. But uh, there you have it. I thought it was a, a really interesting spawn. So the uh, uh, seeds in the description, the location of these two points of interest are in there as well. And of course, you know, you can just you can see all of the all of the villages. They're they're all right, just right around spawn here as well. So, yeah, I thought I'd share that with you. I thought it was a pretty good seed if you want to do a, uh, a survival game. So anyways, I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.